kindly sit down. Thank you. I am not. Uh, I am not at ease uh, talking with my mouth. Uh, with something in front in both my mouth. Ito sa panglayo, hindi sa pagbasa. I am pleased to join the distinguished officials and personnel of the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency, the Philippine National Police and other law enforcement agencies, honorable judges, public attorneys, my fellow prosecutors, and other invited guests. We are here to celebrate another milestone in our war against drugs. The destruction of these assorted drugs is an affirmation of our determination to put an end to this menace that has caused a miserable harm to millions of individual users, destroyed countless families, and continue to threaten the moral fabric of our society. Let me take this opportunity to acknowledge the coordinated efforts of IDEA and the PNP, which led the seizure of more than 7 billion pesos worth of dangerous drugs that we destroy today. This adds up the more than 56 billion worth of illegal drugs that were already seized after more than 180 anti-illegal drug operations since the beginning of my administration. We will continue to work even harder not only to suppress the supply of narcotics in our streets, but also to prevent our country from being used as a transshipment point for illegal drug trade in the Asia-Pacific region. Let me emphasize that our law enforcement agencies and the operatives, despite the extraordinary circumstances caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, these criminals do not cease in their nefarious activities. We must therefore remain steadfast in our campaign, not only by intensifying our operations against drug trafficking, but also by reforming our criminal justice system and addressing the root causes of drug abuse and dependency. I am asking the brave men and women of our law enforcement agencies, the prosecution service and the judiciary to never waver in their difficult yet rewarding tasks. We already accomplished a lot in the past four years, and we can accomplish more in the next years to come. Ending illegal drug trade <coughs> means securing the future of our nation. Together, let us make a drug-free Philippines the greatest legacy that we can leave behind to our children and the succeeding generations. Before I say salamat wa lahat, I'd like to just give you my own part of the narrative of the, of this afternoon. Uh, early on, I was a prosecutor. Nakita ko na nung as early as 25 years ago kung gaano kahirap ang labanan sa droga. Yung mga kaso ko sa korte, dumadai because the evidence na binigay sa akin ay tawas. So ako yung I had the burden of being the brunt of the court sa mga 
panahon yun. Alam ko that within the law enforcement agencies, there was a lot of corruption in Davao City. So, <clears throat> nung the mayor ako, I was a prosecuting fiscal before I became the vice mayor. OIC appointed kami doon, Corey's time. Nung naging vice mayor ako, medyo nakita ko na yung malawak na kung saan saan dinadaan. When I became mayor, I only had one statement to make at that time. Sabi ko, I intend to build a city that is comfortable for all the people. Do not destroy our children because they are our only wealth ang mga anak namin. Kasi pagtanda na kami, sila naman ang magpapakain sa amin ng lugaw. As what we are doing to our parents and their parents and the parents of their parents for generations. Sabi ko, wag ninyong do not destroy the youth. Do not destroy my country because if you destroy the youth, wala na kaming maasahan sa aming kinabukas ng buhay. Sabi ko, pag ginawa mo yan, putang ina ninyo, papatayin ko kayo. Well, I could not make it more lucid, so to speak. Si Wilkins, pati si Coy, served in Davao for many years at makakilala kami at nakaintindihan kami. So alam namin ang trabaho namin. I... I value their <coughs> friendship and I can say without any fear of contradiction that they are the finest of the finest of the law enforcement. Tito sa atin. Nakaintindihan kami. So, nalinis ko ang dabaw. Not only drugs, but sabi ko, kidnappers, old uppers. Kaya ninyo, sinasabihan ko na kayo, do not blame me later on. So yan. So, that brought me to the portals of the human rights. You know, human rights, as I've said before, you are preoccupied with the health and life of the criminals who are the drug pushers and the drug lords. Me, as mayor and now as president, I have to protect every man, woman, and child from the evils of drugs. Ayaw ninyong maniwala kayo Basta sinabi ko, ang laro dito, patayan. Because, kita mo naman, marami naman akong polis na patay. It's not a, it's not a, a minimal number. I have lost uh, police. Kaya ako ganun sa kanila. So si Wilkins, pati isa, pag sila ang namatayan, Ganun na lang ang galit ko kung bakit namatay yung bulis o yung tagapadea. Nakala ko ba kayo ang mag-grade, kayo may armas? E di punta, barili na lang ninyo. Any overt act, baski mag, baski mag, in the act of 
magbunot maski wala pang baril nakita if that hands wriggles in into the ways means to the baril yan at lahat itong mga drugista may baril may uh, may pantabla na yan talaga sila kaya to this day I say to the human rights I don't give a shit with you my order still the same kaya kung ayaw nila palamin nila kung saan ako na mismo kasi galit ako let me just stick to one topic dito sa droga. Itong lima, isang pamilya. Pag tinamaan itong tatay, wala na. Nanay, tatlong anak, babagsak yan dahan-dahan. Away, kung ano-ano na lang, nagbubugbog ng anak, nagbubugbog ng asawa. The family becomes totally dysfunctional. Tapos, ang asawa maghanap ng paraan para makapag-aral ang anak niya, mapakain niya. She is forced to go to the recruiters. Itong mga ulol naman sa human trafficking. Isa pa rin yan, mainit ako masyado dyan. Ilagay ko kayo sa listahan mga kama magpunta ng abroad maiwan ang bata then ager yung isa ibigay na lang doon sa tatay ultimately magsabog-sabog yan ang tatay may trabaho at to magkano siya doon yan 300 a day you know? 500 200 yung isang tira ewan ko magkano ng street level ano wala, sasabog yan. Itong asawa magpunta ng Middle East. Hindi naman sa lahat ng lugar. Pero there are places in the Middle East. When you work for them, you are a slave. Either because you are paid or because you are bought from the slave markets of Africa. Pagkatapos noon, ayun, trabaho na siya, rapin pa, tiisin niya, sikmurain niya, tanggalin niya, ilang beses yan sila magpa-abort ng abort ng abort, abort ng abort niyan. Bugbog ang katawa niya. Ngayon, Itong tatay, maglasing, kung anong gagawin, mag-gangster, magnanakaw, ang mga bata, wala na. Either pupunta rin sa droga o kawawa. Dito sa isang pamilya. Multiply it. There so many thousands in our midst, even here. Hindi ko siya, siya ano, ang lugar. Kung may isang pamilya lang, kada bahay tinamaan dyan sa squatters area. Problema na ng society. Hindi lang yan. Masakit para sa akin. Kaya ako, wala akong pakialam dyan sa human rights. When I'm telling the law enforcement, the uniform, the person. Do your duty. Do it in accordance with law. Pero be alert and be wise. Alam mo, kunting pagkamali lang, barilin mo na. Because if you are not maunahan ka o maalanganin ka, maletse na. I will assume full legal responsibility. Akin, akin yan. 
Yang human rights, ako ang magharap niyan, hindi naman kayo. Ako ang kung saan nila gustong sabi ko pagkatapos ko ng presidente. Fine. Saya na mga pinagpraktisan ko sa korte po tang ina kung hindi ko ma libre ang sarili ko. I know, remember, I never mentioned any particular name. I said, go out and destroy. Yan ang sinabi ko dito sa dalawang ito. Go out in the city and destroy the apparatus. Do not kill intentionally or killing this murder. But kung may baril at nakabunot pa lang o nasabaywang na, barilin mo na. Kasi bubunot talaga yan at ikaw ang mamamatay. So that's my only message to you. Huwag kayong matakot. Ako ang harap niya. Akin niya. Kung sa Bisaya pa ang antak, akin niyang antog. That's mine. And mine alone. So, ganun ang guidance ko sa inyo. But uh, as far as you can really do it in accordance with law, pero pag naalanganin ka na o oh, you suspect na maunahan ka, patayin mo na para tapos na. One less idiot in this world. So yun lang ang message ko sa inyo. I salute you for your uh, undying patriotic fervor. I salute you because you understand the problem and because you worry about your country. I salute you because tayo lahat sa gobyerno magkasama and we protect each other. And I will protect you. And if you are in prison, nagbarilan lang kayo, nagbunutan kung sino lang mauna. Kasi there's one There's one lady who said na yung may nagbarila na na police na she commented na eh, kung ang baril na dyan pa sa holster, meron bang agresyon? Hindi. Walang agresyon galing sa law enforcement. Ang agresyon mag-umpisa doon. Kaya kung yung putang Sorry. May holes there. Barilin mo na. Talagang bubunot yan. Otherwise, bakit mag holes there, holes there yan ng baril? Or if there's an overt act of parang magbunot, unahan mo na. Mamamatay ka talaga sa laro dito. You have to be, I said, street smart, alert, brave, Total ng buhay, ganun lang naman kung panahon mo na, panahon mo naman talaga. Kasi ano mong iwas, trabaho lang. At kung magtrabaho kayo ng gusto, ako'y magpapasalamat sa inyo. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much to our beloved President.